Hey folks, today we're gonna unbox and take a look at this little five gallon top fin aquarium. I don't typically buy this brand of aquarium or, or small aquariums like this anymore, but this one's a little different, a little unique, and I thought it would be a fun, uh, maybe a fun project, and maybe something I can turn into something even better. So let's take a look. So we were in PetSmart the other day, and uh, we came in and I saw this on a pallet for sale, you know. I think it was, they had it uh, at a pretty decent price. So I was walking into PetSmart, we were going there to buy some uh, some cat food and, uh, and maybe some other things, and uh, I saw this on a pallet for sale and it just kind of set my mind ablaze with all kinds of crazy ideas. Uh, what we have here is a, well it says, split angle waterfall. So it's a it's a five gallon tank that's subdivided. Looks like with a piece of glass, it's got a little box filter in here, uh, probably a low, a low hung box filter here that uh, will send the water over and maybe uh, a pour out area here. We're gonna pull this out and look at it in a second. But this is a, it's kind of a, it's, this is the kind of thing that you could very easily make yourself but not as easily as if uh, someone else already made it and you just bought it at the store. <laughs> I know that sounds dumb, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm remarkably lazy and not uh, great with the craftsmanship. So <laughs> when I see stuff like this, I'm like, oh, maybe I could turn that into something else. Uh, I was real curious anyway, and it didn't cost a whole lot to go try it out. I figure worst case scenario, I'll give it to someone in a, in a fish swap or something like that. So. Uh, let's take a look at this little top fin aquarium and see what it comes with. Yep, on the back we've got uh, a little graphic showing, uh, of course, what we expect. We've got the aquarium with a with a glass. Uh, it looks like it's got some kind of wood thing with a couple of uh, cheapo LEDs, power adapter, ceramic rings, I guess, and a, and a, a carbon cartridge for the filter. Let's pull that out, it'll be a lot easier to see. So Top Fin is a, a brand that is, uh, it, it's basically the house brand for PetSmart. So uh, PetSmart will buy a company or, or, a, or a whole bunch of a product and then relabel it uh, as theirs. And just about every company does this to some degree. If you're ever curious about seeing that in like a more extreme scenario, look no further than uh, Trader Joe's. All right, let's slide this out. Uh, it came fairly well packed. Fairly well packed for what it is. It looks like it's in good shape. Let's pull this down. All right, so out of the box, I gotta say it's uh, it's a little bit better than I expected. It's got some big heavy rubber feet on the bottom, which is kind of unusual for something like this. We've got a we've got a plastic top here. It's got a nice wood grain. I can see there's a power button right here. You can see the other side of it. Here's the yeah. Here's where the the other side of the power button. A couple of LEDs. Uh, it's got a space right here, probably for, for cords to get out, or uh, maybe a filter or something like that, I guess, if you wanted to do it that way. It's also got a couple of two feeding doors, one for each side, and uh, it's pretty nice. That's actually, it's actually a real nice lid for what this is. Uh, as we get here, we got some instructions. Uh, some packing material. I'm guessing this is the filter and the power supply. And we got the water, the overflow. Okay, this is plastic. I was half expecting this to be, um, to be glass, maybe with a cutout, but it's plastic. It's a, it's a little plastic lid looking thing. And it's, and it's got, um, it's frosted. Uh, so in the picture on this thing, they had a, a beta, like they had this kind of like a dual beta set up. And um, yeah, I, I haven't kept, I've kept a few bettas and stuff. I usually like to, these days anyway, I'd like to give them more than five gallons just all to themselves. 
uh, or at least five gallons all to themselves. With this, I guess you could do two. It kind of looks like there's there's something over the top. Oh, okay. So this part here, I might have to get my phone out and really show you this. Let me do that. I cannot get my camera down there to show you. All right, so what we have here is on this side, we've got kind of a standard overflow, you know, a little, a little uh, place for a waterfall. And right here, uh, we've got a little piece of plastic with a, a place for the water to kind of suck up. And I think this is so uh, your fish doesn't just get sucked out over the waterfall. It's got kind of a little area to bring the water in before it flows out. So the water is going to flow up up through here and then pour out on the other side. Now that seems really obvious, I guess, but uh, I, I think this is clever. This is, I expected like a grate or something like that to kind of keep, uh, but with that maybe, I don't know, maybe this will be a little bit more pleasant for the fish. It's also worth noting that this is a rimless tank and I'm taking a good look at the, taking a good look at the, uh, the seal here on the side. It's not not perfect, but it's it's actually pretty clean. Yeah, the silicone on the side. It's about what you'd expect from one of these little tanks, but it's it's not bad. Like it's not. Uh, it didn't do a terrible job. It's not going to be ADA, of course, <laughs> ADA quality, but it's it's uh, not bad. Let's take a look at the rest of it. Actually, it seems a little bit bigger. Like it almost seems like ten gallon size. Wow, this is a huge box filter. <laughs> is there anything else in there? All right, so let's see what this is first. This is going to be the power supply for the lights. Okay, so power supply for the lights. And the, the box filter. So let's look here. Uh, pretty basic. You got a little, uh, here's a little carbon, carbon and mechanical filter. It'll slot in there sideways. It's on a piece of plastic. Uh, you know, the carbon in this is only gonna last for about 30 days. Uh, and they will try to sell you more of these replacements. But what's cool is like uh, when it's on plastic like this, you can wrap other things around it. Like you could wrap filter floss around this or something like that if you wanted to use this, this filter. That slides in there. Just got a tiny, tiny little bag of uh, filter material. This isn't enough, probably. <laughs> I mean, if, if you're not doing plants or something else, this is probably not enough filter material. I guess that goes in there. And it's got this pump with a uh, variable speed here on the side, it looks like. And this goofy little um, mechanism here. It looks like it's got a little... It's got a little notch cut out. Now this has a little notch cut out right here, so I guess that that's supposed to... Um, how does that work? So this this is kind of, this is hard plastic. Uh, it does come off, but it doesn't move a whole lot. So this is gonna slide in here like so. Ah, that little notch fits in right there. There's a little groove for it right on the side. And I guess this is made just to take water from one side of the tank to the other. Uh, looking on the lid, there's a, you can see where this doesn't continue all the way. This little, this little gap has got to be for this thing. And I bet this is so you can get in there and service it if you should need to do that. So let's look at that. So if I was going to use this thing, as pictured anyway, it would go in this side, like so. And it would just gather water from this side and push it over this way. It eventually comes up and overflows and comes back. 
You could put butter on either side of there if you wanted to give them two and a half gallons uh, of water each. Um, there'd be a little bit more flow on this side, but also a lot more surface area. So maybe, I don't know, maybe that would work out just fine. Let's put the lid back on. See how it all fits together. Oh, it's got a good lid. All right, here we go. We got the, here's the aquarium with the lid on. The lid fits on real nice and tight. No gaps or anything. Tiny little gap in the back here uh, where the filter is. It's got a lid right above it so I can just like look down inside that filter, do whatever work I need to do. That's your little feeding hole A and feeding hole B for the other side. Uh, it's got a touch sensitive light. So you touch that and the light comes on or off. It's got three little tiny LEDs on each side. Not a very bright light, of course, but uh, you know, it, it would probably work, especially fish only, if you're not trying to grow plants or something like that, and they might appreciate that it's not super bright. But here it is, a neat little kit. I probably won't use it the way it's, uh, I definitely won't use it the way it's advertised with the two bettas. Uh, if you want to though, that, that's up to you. I had a bunch of ideas I, and some of that's changed a little bit now looking at it. I expected it to have a rim. I thought it would be like more a rimmed tank, kind of like there's a little 20 gallon back there. But it's not, it's a rimless. So uh, maybe, but this is plastic. I wonder if I can use this plastic, like recut it or reshape it to suit another purpose. More on that later. I just wanted to take a minute and uh, show you this setup. Uh, maybe we'll see it again in a future video. That's all I got for you right now. I know I said I'd work on the 20 gallon and I, I just haven't gotten to a place with that yet uh, where I feel like talking about it, but it'll come up soon. Uh, until next time, follow your bliss, keep a clean tank, and I'll see you real soon. I've got two selections for you and you could pick either one. This one at the top is just literally every aquarium video that I've ever made. And this one at the bottom is one that YouTube thinks that you might like. So check it out and I'll see you soon.